YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Power Nine Quest. My name is Andy, and today, for the one trillionth time, we are doing Hidden Fates, four Charizard tins, uh, and you know what? I need more than just the shiny Charizard GX, because I'm going for a set now. Hopefully this is a successful video and you get at least one card. Either way, we're gonna have fun. Uh, hang out with me, and let's uh, enjoy opening some Pokemon packs. Okay, so I'm using my Hidden Fates mat right now, and every time I do this, I'm like, my gosh, there's a lot going on in this. Like, look, the packs like blend into it. There's uh, a lot of sparkles and colors. Uh, 16 packs, 16 wonderful options on pulling something amazing or pulling something terrible. I went through, I think, what is it? I went through 38 packs one time. Uh, oh, sorry, how dare I? I would not, I would not dare to not show you that. I went through 38 packs one time without getting a shiny GX. That's insane. But we're gonna pull a couple today. Not just one, we're gonna pull two. That's my that's my hypothesis. Vinny the Voltorb, Magikarp, and a Starmie GX. Nice. We got a we got a GX stack. We got a, a reverse foil stack. Not a bad start. Um so yeah, I've been putting a set together, and it's actually been really, really cool. Uh it's because I've opened so many of these packs that uh, it was, you know, all the commons and uncommons and just normal rares. I got so used to seeing them and not caring. And when I was putting my set together, I was like, oh, Rocket the Rock. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Now I care about all these cards that I've been opening up. You know, of course I liked pulling the nice, flashy, shiny ones. Uh, and quite literally the shiny ones. Um, wheezing, cool. All right. Um, but, you know, it was kind of cool. It was like, oh, there's this common. Scratching my arm. You know, usually, my both of my hands are always in the video right here. It felt I felt like I was doing something wrong by uh, <laughs> removing my arm from the shot. Uh, one, two, three, four. But it's cool. And then hopefully, uh, it, I actually all right. Let's talk about how insulting it is. Brock hit the rock. That there are a, a handful of cards that I just don't have. Granted, I don't have all the cards I've pulled. Um, I, I swear I'm going to do a video talking about. Uh, Talking about what what happens to these cards after I open them, uh, like you know, like if I need a card for my set, I'm gonna keep it for myself. Sometimes I collect all gold gold cards, so I think I have um, all of the gold cards that I've pulled. Um, but there's a ton of cards. A ton of cards go on after these videos, and they uh, they have a different destiny. Giovanni's exile. Ooh, Pikachu. Good luck. Um. Okay, come on, come on. I'm feeling good about this pack. I shouldn't. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't... I mean, it's, it's a hollow rare Vaporeon. That's cool. Nothing too, uh... Okay, oh yeah, the insulting part. <laughs> I'm a crazy. Uh, it's insulting that I've opened up this so, like, just over a thousand. I don't know, two thousand? I, I have no idea of these packs. And it's like, okay, you didn't get the, the impossible card to get. But there are cards that I've never pulled. And granted, some of these, like I said, I've, like, they've, I just, before I thought about putting a set together of this I, I i certainly had some of those cards geodude bad luck um but there was way too many i'll write you gx well, we're, we're certainly pulling the gx's my gosh um also i busted a box of unbroken bonds the other day what happened is that my my son was very passionate about putting an unbroken bonds set together like he just liked the idea of putting a set together and then when he realized it was really hard and of course he's eight so he doesn't have like a ton of money to to buy buy packs and you know i'm only going to give him freebie packs every now and then because i gotta raise him to appreciate the value geodude bad luck um but so it hit the set just sit there and i was like you know what that'd be kind of fun to work on it myself so I, I i got a box of unbroken bonds and it was it was not good i didn't get one hyper rare uh but and then and the the gx's that i pulled the, the uh or the yeah, and the, like the tag teams, they were just okay. I was like, that was, that was a bad box. It was a bummer. I usually don't sit down and just crack a box of, of Pokemon by myself for fun. Um, Vinny the Voltorb, Pikachu, good luck. Uh, but it was a bad box. It was a bummer. But it, it honestly, it made me, Brock's training and Slowpoke reverse foil, it made me want to do another one. And that's what it's called. And I didn't. I, I, I withheld from the urge, but that's the, there are those moments in life you're like, oh, do I have an addiction? I, I immediately need more of these packs. Um, no, I did not, though. And, you know, not to say I won't, but it, it's less likely that I'll, that I'll bust a bunch of unbroken bonds because I don't think they're in stores anymore. Graveler, far-fetched. 
Psyduck. Magikarp. Oh, Vinny the Voltorb. Pikachu, good luck. I'm feel. Oh, woo! Nice. Okay. Good. Good. We. Good opening. Okay. Good day. Good opening. Brooklet Hill. There's actually one. I don't think that's the one. There's one gold card that I just haven't pulled. Oh no! It's like it's Mount Mount Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Not Corona. <laughs> Mount Coronet? I don't know. I never pulled it, but I have Brooklyn Hill. I have a few of those. Either way, there that goes to my, my collection. That would be cool if I pulled another gold card. Uh, one, two, three, four. Um, Brock at the Rock. I wonder if any of this stuff is... Did, does, Hidden Face was an awesome set. It is an awesome set. But does anyone... Are these held value? Geodude, bad luck. I know the Shiny Charizard was all hot and heavy and fancy. Vinny the Voltorb and Mr. Mime. Um, but, uh, man, I got to... Um, but like gold cards, like what are those worth? I hope they do another one of these sets this year though. I really do. I'm not super in tune to what's happening. Like I, I, I looked, I think I looked at one point to see what sets were coming out, but I, I don't know. Like magic, I'm so, I'm like, okay, I know what's happening. I'm up to date with the sets and things that are about to be released, but Pokemon, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little dumber at. Geodude, bad luck. Cancels out. We're even, Stevens. Are you kidding me? What? Back Was that back-to-back? -back? No, it wasn't back-to-back, -back, was it? I, I don't even have a brain anymore. What? Why? Why can't you just be the gold card that I need? We are on par to be the, the, the greatest four Charizard 10s ever. Can we please just get a shiny GX? All right, let's just get another... You know what? Screw it. Let's get another Brooklyn Hill. I'm in. I'm all in. We're getting another Brooklyn Hill right now. One, two, three, four. Every time I do that in my entire life, I think about, is that a Coolio song? Get your woman on the floor. I think, I think it's Coolio. Pikachu, good luck. Jigglypuff. Ekans. Wow. Wow. I don't think I need this, but whoa, dude. This, these are some special packs. Those were three packs in a row. Imagine if you got that tin. Was it in 110? Yeah. Yeah, this is the last, this is, so this is the, the other pack in this tin. So if you would have bought this tin, this is what you would have got. And I, I did, but I'm just saying, if you just bought one tin, this is insane. Oh my gosh. Reshram. Okay, well, all right, you know what? I'm not complaining at all because that was phenomenal. All right, let's go again. One more tin. We got four more packs. One more shiny GX. Dude, four tins, two gold cards, a shiny GX. One, two, three, four. I can't believe this. I've been like, I've been busy all week and I've been meaning to. Geodude, bad luck. <laughs> you, sorry, Geodude, you're not working this time. Well, maybe on this pack you are, but still. Uh, I've been meaning to film this video and I was like, I've just been like, I haven't had time. Which is silly because it takes me what? Like, 10, 15 minutes to film one of these. But it's, my life has been that crazy. And I haven't had time. And now I'm sitting down to do it. And I was like, whoa, this was kind of worth the wait. Uh, I would tell you what's happening in my life. But it's pretty much the same stuff. Brock hit the rock. Like, I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core still. And I'm, I'm go getting far in that. I've been playing Animal Crossing. I've been pulling Fairy Foil Energy and Hollow Rare Eevees. Um, and... Just, I'm, just, I'm, on re I'm on repeat. I'm like, do you have any idea how much I want to travel and go to the beach right now? That's what everybody, I know that's like nothing different than what you want. One, two, three, four. But oh my gosh, I am, I'm ready for this pandemic world to be over. Cubone, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie, and Paris too. You know, I'm done. <sighs> Look at that. Dude, this, what a good opening. This is... This might be, as far as like 16 packs, it might be my best Hidden Fates opening. I mean, I know I've like had epic pools where I get a bunch of good stuff. Last pack. Uh, but, um, we got the Bird Trio. We got the Bird Trio. Um, hyper, hyper time. All right. The last pack. Bad show, dude, bad luck. Hearts are beating everywhere. Spoiler alert, they always are. Okay, oh, we didn't do it. We did not do it. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, that's really good though. Sadly, I don't think I got anything for my set. That's what, dude, this set is, 
This set is so weird. So I don't need to, I don't need to look. Actually, I have it right here. Right here, we're gonna look. And if I see a Reshram Shiny GX, then I just don't need it. I have it. Boom. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I have, uh, this is out of a case. So you'll be definitely getting um, more Hidden Fates pulls, but uh, more Pokemon, more magic, tons of card opening fun. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more, and I'll be back. You guys have a fantastic Saturday. Go. And if you're watching this on another day, I still want you to wait to Saturday and then have a great Saturday. Goodbye. All right, another episode of Hidden Fates done. And you know what? I think I'm going to go hard on the next Hidden Fates. I'm going to do eight tins. That's what I'm going to do. Hopefully it, it turns out good for me. Uh, but either way, I do videos all the time, so hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And I hope you guys have a great day. That's just like I just said, so have a double great day.